Hi, this is Kevin Gardner, coming to you from my studio in beautiful Brooklyn. I'm here to talk about my work, Rainbow Country. Hi, this is Kevin Darmany, coming you, to you from quarantine in beautiful Brooklyn. And uh, thank you for joining me on my talk. Today I'll be talking about my series, Rainbow Country. So the Rainbow Country storyline. It's a very loose storyline. I think of it as sequential, even though each piece is made to stand on its own. Uh, the storyline basically is where uh, my alter ego, Kedar, uh, leaves his home and then proceeds to make his way to a public pool in order to take a dip. Uh, with that being said, this would be considered, say, the first piece in the series. Uh, all of the pieces are, or most of the pieces, I should say, are collaged together, meaning that they are layered. There are several uh, pieces of paper that are rendered and then pasted on top of one another. So, I started the Rainbow Country series in 2009 and completed it in 2012. The series is intended to be nostalgic. I started the series out of concerns I had about how Caribbean people were being perceived here in the United States. So much of Caribbean expression, being music, and art, and film, and fashion, is about uh, self-determination and uh, a sense of pride or a sense of personhood. And I had hoped that by creating a alter ego and using the tropes of graphic novels, something uh, that's so familiar to everyone in comics, that I would somehow at least not necessarily convey this historical tale of the Caribbean, but more give a sense of what it felt like, uh, even if it's in a fantastical way. Oftentimes when we learn about the Caribbean, it's told to us through the weighty conversations that you hear coming out of academic circles, which to me feels like compensation or through comedy, which depends on stereotypes, or to the news, which usually covers corruption and violence, or through the bombastic sounds of reggae and soca, which really engages into hip shaking, at least as of late. I prefer more slice of life stories, which just happen to be told in the Caribbean. I chose to talk about uh, this Rainbow Country series for COVID-19 because, quite frankly, it's very feel-good, it's very positive, it's very colorful, uh, yet at the same time, it doesn't ignore the strife and struggle that people of color experience. The works are intended to be satirical and humorous. Here I pick up on tropes often heard in Calypso songs, uh, that being uh, lyrics that would have contained sexual innuendo, uh, comedy. In the center you see the actual Calypsonian, myself as a figure, uh, with two blue balls, which is what the name is, piece is named after. Also. There's some references to Caribbean folklore. Below that you find some of the early pieces. I'm an artist who believes in confessionals. My impression of art is that the artist would sort of testify their private experiences in a public sphere. To me, I see that as one of the things that makes us artists, is our willingness to do this. Although, recently, many artists have elected to do something different. You know, I can't emphasize enough 
just how much Calypso music has uh, influenced this work. Uh, some of these pieces either reference specific songs or are depictions of specific songs or, uh, or make use of Calypso's rhythms. For this piece, Dirty Water, which is actually the very first piece in the series, you find myself, Kedar, actually entering a pool. The pool itself is a metaphor for the larger art society and its myriad of opinions, people, characters that you find when you enter this society. Much like a pool, which disperses and is easily contaminated by whatever elements you post in it, Kedara himself contaminates this public pool with his own ideas and influences, but simultaneously is influenced by it. So that concludes my short introduction on Rainbow Country. Uh, Brooklyn, thank you for joining me on this talk. If you'd like to keep up with what I've been doing, you can follow me at kevindarmy.com or on Instagram under my name, Kevin Darmy. Until then, enjoy. See you then the sun is up, we will get